What's going on, guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. How is everyone doing? Uh, if you could type in the chat super quickly down below uh, where you're tuning in from. And if you're a Learn Auto Body VIP member, type in VIP member and type in you know where you're tuning in from. That will be excellent. And let me know if you guys can hear and see me. <laughs> We're going to be doing auto body Q&A for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Whatever questions you got pertaining to auto body will help you out right here. No problem. Don't mind me just getting over like a little cough. So hopefully my voice doesn't start drying out <coughs> in the next 20 minutes. Awesome for the feedback. Michael G says he's a lifetime member. Uh, from Flint, Texas. Audio and video are excellent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for the feedback. Um, if any of you guys are newbies in here tuning in for the first time, type in first time newbie just so I can get an idea of who's on with us tonight. Um, it is 3 p.m. Hawaii time. Chilling here. I know it's uh, toward the evening on the eastern time zones. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a great week. It's Tuesday evening. And um, yeah, Dan says loud and clear, VIP Canada, Embrace Smith, clear audio, Patty, what's up, Patty, long time no see, hope you're doing well. Um, anyway, any projects you guys are working on, anything new, let me know in the chat. If you have any questions, you know, hangups in auto body, whatever you got, let me know, we're here to talk about it, you know, nothing crazy. And um, if you guys want to talk about other things, uh, the crypto market, you know, anything, whatever, let me know um, because that's another one of my passions and I'm a full-time investor in crypto and um, I love it. So with that being said, we're just here chilling, waiting for some auto body questions and answers. Any you know newbie question doesn't matter. So if you're totally new, you want to type in newbie in the chat, if you have a simple question, Whatever it is, you know, don't be shy to ask uh, whatever questions you got on Autobody. We're here to help you. And also, I am going to go ahead and post a couple pages here for all you newbies. Maybe you watching a replay, you never tuned in before. I'm going to post a link to learn Autobody and paint.com. You can click that or on the side here on the replay, you're going to have a link down below in the description where you can get free Autobody and paint training. Sign up to that site right there and learn Autobody and paint. You get a free book, free guides. Um, and we're literally in the process of working on still migrating our sites over uh, to another platform. It's been a, a couple month debacle and it's just a, a pain in the butt at this point, but we're getting through it. Uh, Chicago checking in. What's going on, Victor? What's going on, Victor? Um, let's see. So Victor says, can you put base coat over epoxy primer? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Um, normally, epoxy primer. Um, is good to be, you know, having a, a 2K filler primer coat on top of it, some sort of polyurethane primer on it, um, urethane primer, like a 2K filler primer. But, you know, if you want to finish off with an epoxy primer, you can absolutely do that. Make sure it's thick. Make sure you lay it on thick. Make sure you sand it. You know, you take it down with a DA to at least a 320 grit. And then you wash it down with the 400 grit. You can you can go wet or dry. I like to finish uh, a lot of my primer cutting and base, not base coat, clear coat sanding with 400 grit sandpaper wet uh, before I spray over it. So like the brand new Tesla project that we have here, that all I'm going to be doing is scuffing the clear coat down 400 grit. Of course, I have some um, chip rock chips in the front end, a couple of little dents around it. It's a 2020 Tesla and we're going to be doing a complete paint job this year. I would say in the next couple months, I wanted to do it first quarter, but it's already the end of first quarter. Um, well, we're toward the end of the first quarter and this is the project here and we're going to be doing a complete fade. The wind just took my laptop. <laughs> We're going to be doing like a fade paint job on here, kind of like this moped project that we did, but uh, a little different colors, kind of like this type of fade, uh, but different. I'm, I'm actually, we're going to be doing it. I'm representing a certain crypto coin. 
that you guys may want to get into. And I'm not going to reveal all, all of that stuff right now, but in the next few months, this is going to be painted to promote um, a certain crypto ecosystem that I'm involved in, as well as many others. And um, if you get in early, you could make some real life-changing gains. So that's what we're going to be talking about um, in the next few months. So it's on schedule to start um, when my wife takes a trip to Japan again this coming May, probably toward the end of May, because she drives it daily. And I don't want to go hanging this car up for 10 days or two weeks. I'd rather just take my time and do it when she's gone. So this Tesla project is going to be a completely custom painted. We're going to do the rims. We're going to do the whole car. It's going to look amazing. I might even buy like a spoiler for the trunk or whatever. Do something cool to it. All right. Let's get back to Q&A here. Um, no problem, Victor. Patty says, I have a hard sanding line of like four to five layers. I'm having a tough time getting it to sand out smooth. Do I go on top of the line or behind? Uh, so if you have a, a hard line, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's like primer buildup. Like what do you mean by you have a hard sanding line? So I'm, I'm assuming... You taped, you taped it up, you, you taped the section, you sprayed a lot of primer or whatever coats you got on it, took the tape off, you got like a big hard line right, right there, right? So if you got something like that, I would use like a 320 grit to just feather it and put your DA over it. Make sure you're, you're on one side 50% and the other side 50%. And you're just cutting it flat, smoothing, feathering it out. Once that's done, you could just wet sand smooth with 400 grit, and then you could be painting. You could paint right over that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. Is this making sense, guys? Um, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Damon Brown. What's up, Damon? Uh, what the small compressor can you paint with? I'm thinking of trying to sand and paint my El Camino for the first time. So, Damon, I highly, highly recommend. Are you... I, I, I would guess you're not a VIP member or you're not subscribed to the auto body and paint newsletter. So I would highly recommend go to that link. I just posted it, download your free auto body manual, um, and then check out learn auto body VIP. We show you everything exactly step-by-step step, A to Z, what you need to do to bang out amazing paint jobs from home with small or large air compressors. And the, the book inside of that free book that I give you, it's all there. And there's also links from in the PDF book that take you to videos on my YouTube, that take you to videos on the website, and it just helps you out all around. You're gonna love that. So <clears throat> actually that answer to that question is in that manual and it's pretty easy to find. So hopefully that helps. It's gonna be a lot better for you to go through that than me explaining it to you here. It's already there, documented, pictures, videos, links, it's all there for you. Okay. Um, again, it depends on if you're going to be doing the El Camino at one shot or in stages, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but I have painted complete cars with a 33 gallon air compressor. Uh, it's just a little tricky because you have to play catch up and kind of wait until your air compressor fills up again uh, to continue painting. It's not the best way to do it, but it is possible and it can be done. And I've done it quite a few times. <clears throat> um, working on a 1972 C20 project. Awesome. Chewy says, I have an El Camino and I want to sand it down and primer. So Chewy, also you too, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com to get that free auto body guide, free trainings. We send you emails, I think every other day, give or take, um, to interesting articles, knowledgeable uh, videos and so much more. What is a good base coat color for a purple paint, silver or gold? Um, I would say, I would say silver. It depends depending on the tone you want. Do you want like a darker tone or a, a brighter? You can go with a darker silver, a darker gunmetal silver, or a lighter silver. And then, of course, your coats. Your coats of, um, I don't know if you're using a candy purple or is it a base coat? I'm not sure. But with candy, the more layers you do, the darker it's going to be. Um, and we're going to be playing around with candies and, um, you know, pink base coats and all that type of stuff with this Tesla project. It's going to be part pink and navy. 
So it's going to look pretty crazy. <clears throat> um, it's been painted a couple of times, so there's layers. I see. So you're going to want to feather those layers out, and then you're going to want a 2K fill prime all that to get it to one solid foundation, unless you want to spend hours and days basically sanding everything down to metal and then doing an epoxy primer and then doing 2K filler primer on top of that. Uh, and then, you know, getting ready for paint. Again, it depends on um, how much body work you got. If you got any body filler that you have to do. Again, everything is documented in Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP as well, guys. So check it out. Um, but first, grab your free guide at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, and I have the link down there. So the other type of information that I just quickly wanted to share was if you guys are looking for amazing spray guns, the same guns that I use uh, to spray all of my projects, um, check out Zula.com um for more information on that um i like the atom x27 i like the atom x20 for primers um the x88 is great for all around base coat clear coat or even single stage painting as well um forest says vip from california training well worth the money thanks tony awesome man thank you for the uh the awesome compliment there is there any questions that you have regarding auto body let me know if you're hung up somewhere let me know we're here uh, to help you out every week around this time zone here um, for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending. Sometimes we go over, you know, sometimes we're close to an hour, but it, it all depends on how the night is, how many guys are on the call. Um, so I just popped that link, guys, Zula.com, if you want to check out some great spray guns. <clears throat> um, let's see. And I have another training here, guys, if you're learning and if you want to look into learning how to build an e-commerce business, check out this training that I have here. It's a one hour training that shows you A to Z deep dive into building your own online business with little physical products. OK, and um, we sell in a very a various verticals, you know, different niches um you know gadgets online so we sell you know surf industry we sell some electronic type of stuff uh my daughter is going to be getting into some health type of products we don't know yet um we're thinking of creating a new brand and i get into all of that in my trainings guys because i have multiple brands out there Uh, and we're working on a, we're actually going to be working on a, a coffee alternative. Uh, my daughter and I, that's going to be our next business that we want to kind of play with. So you guys heard about, um, I don't know if you guys heard about mud water. Any of you guys test mud water? So like, I'm trying to get off caffeine and coffee and like, I'm a coffee junkie since about, since I started my online business, that's about 12 years now. Um, I've been drinking coffee pretty much daily and I kind of want to get off of it. So I've been testing out different types of coffee alternatives. And then the closest one that I like is something called mud water, but I don't like the name and I think the product could be better. So I think, I don't know, we're th thinking of creating our own brand um, in that, in that vertical and, and creating a whole company around it. So another one of my little projects. Um, Robzilla Garage, ever mix different brands of clear and hardener, say PPG hardener with one finish clear? I have done it, and most of the times you're not going to have a problem. Um, but I would say if you're going to be mixing brands of paint, at least stick with the same clear coat kit and then the base coat kit. So if you're doing like a PPG base coat or a house of color base coat, or whatever other brand base coat, you can ease, you can no problem put any type of clear coat on top of it. You can use a DuPont clear coat, you can use a PPG, you can use Nason, Omni, you could use House of Color, you can use, you know, whatever brand of clear coat you can put on top of it. As far as mixing different uh, a clear reduce reducers are not that much of a big deal because reducers are pretty much the same. So you can easily use a PPG reducer for a, a DuPont clear coat or a base coat. Okay, the reducers are the same. The hardeners, 
so I have once mixed a different hardener brand with a clear coat and it curled instantly. Um, I forget what it was. I think it was a DuPont product and a, a cheap clear kit, a cheap clear coat um, activator hardener, you know, that I had on the shelf, some extra, I, I ran out of hardener and I needed some extra hardener and I used a different brand hardener, a cheap, cheap brand, like an $80 a kit, you know, crap. Maybe it was, maybe it was just that hardener was bad. You know, I don't know. But as soon as I mixed it into the clear coat, the whole thing just started curling right there and it just turned the whole, the whole batch was bad. So I had to pause my paint job literally. And, um, I didn't have the shops next door. Didn't have extra clear. I was literally pretty much screwed. It was at night, and I had to just let it dry and redo the paint job the next day. Just sand it down quick, rebase it, and clear coat it. So, yeah. Um, how do you keep the garage so clean? I have overspray everywhere on everything. Well, believe it or not, there is overspray over everything on my walls. If you look closely. Like it's a little gray around that air compressor, you know, and I got overspray on stuff. Believe me, it looks clean, but I, my bench is shot, you know, it's, and, uh, you know, I don't do painting in here every, every week, you know, it's not like I'm painting every week, but I think a big key is that you have great ventilation, you know, so you have a good fan set up where it's taking out that overspray. Um, as quick as possible. That's that's a big key. And I have a, a pretty hefty uh, fan set up here. Michael G says, I use PPG, Deltron, Base Coat, and House of Color Clear all the time. Zero problems, like you said. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I like House of Color Clear Coat, um, but I also like some of the Sherman Williams Clear Coats. Um, PPG has a great Clear Coat, the Deltron 2021 and also uh, for a cheap brand, I like the Acme Clear Coat, which is a cheap brand, but man, you get some pretty amazing finishes. Like these two bikes here were painted with that um, with that Acme setup. So anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We'll take a couple more questions. If not, I don't mind killing it a little early. I actually got to jump on another call with my team out in the Philippines. We're working on a few different projects online and uh, it's been pretty busy <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but definitely guys, we got some new projects coming up this summer for sure. <clears throat> We've had some bad weather for the past month, um, but Actually, like today, man, having some beautiful days today. Still a little windy, but we had like a good month of rain, like rain and clouds. And but today is a beautiful day. Look at it. Beautiful day. Um, <clears throat> Yo, anybody in here uh, familiar with that clear coat? That's on the screen there. I have never tried it. I'm not sure. Uh, Robzilla says zero clear coat or flow coat. Uh, which do you prefer? Is there a benefit other than more protection on flow coat? Well, if you're doing candies, metallics, you know, flakes, pearls, a flow coat will make your paint look deeper. You know, if you're doing any type of custom jobs. So if you're doing something custom, flow coats are great, but not necessary on basic paint jobs. You know, a basic metallic, a basic pearl like this, you know, two, two medium heavy coats of clear coat is all you need, which gives you enough room for some color sanding and buffing as well. Um, you know, that's, that's basically the standard, you know, two coats of clear. You know, sometimes if you want, you can mix up some extra clear, go third coat, but it's really, it doesn't really do much. You know, if you lay on clear coat, well, you got two medium, good, you know, flow, uh, heavy, you know, flow coats on you're good. Um, but like I said, candies, you may want to show cars, candy, show bikes. You want a deeper look flow coat it, you know, sand it down with 800 grit, uh, wet sand it with 800 grit. Make sure you don't cut too deep into the base. And then you can put two more coats of clear on it and you're, and you're good to go. 
Uh, did you ever finish tiling your kitchen or is it a work in progress? I finished tiling. Tiling's all done. Kitchen's a little messy. If you want to take a look, I can show you the kitchen. Uh, but I still have to just basically do some trim around um, my cabinets, some uh, quarter quarter round trim molding around my cabinets. But yeah, it's good. I'm more focused on um, right now. I'm more focused on um, coming up with the half a million dollars that I need for this build. Uh, it's not like I need the money all at once, but um, we're still waiting on permits for this build that we have back here. It's been like five months now. We're still waiting for it's, it's a ridiculous process, guys. Submitted my um, all of my plans and everything to the uh, planning and uh, Department of Planning and Permitting. And we're still waiting to hear back from them. It's been like five months. It's ridiculous. So until they see it, I really can't start the build, but we're putting a huge, you know, 5,000, over 5,000 square foot um, build on the back of my property here, house extension and garage, uh, which is going to go right here where the trampoline is. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen the other container I brought. Got another container back there. Robzilla says he likes Grant clear coat. It's really, what's the price point on that? I've never used it. Who makes it? Is it just Grant that makes it? <clears throat> anyway, guys, any last minute Q&A? If not, we'll call it a day and say uh, aloha to you all. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you guys want to see my messy kitchen. Stay, Louie. So this is what it looks like. I, I tiled the whole wall, actually, all the way up. Went around. Did this hole around my window section. I got to put the quarter mold, so that'll hide that. And that'll hide, kind of. And I went all the way down. And then we did the backsplash here. Right? And then we got this little coffee nook area. And then it goes all the way up and all the way down. So, yeah, I mean, it came out pretty cool. Oh, you know, complete um, remodel. Um, yo, what's up? I found you years ago when you painted that green Miata. You still have that or I sold it? Unfortunately, I sold it, man. I had that thing um, in Texas. That's that's when I was living in Texas. And um, I just had so much stuff, so many cars, so much stuff that I just had to liquidate. That was that car was so cool because I did the uh, hard top and I and I custom mounted a sunroof in it. And that's actually in VIP as well. That project A to Z. <clears throat> Thanks, Michael. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I sold that Miata project. I'm probably going to be doing a mini Cooper project. Um, for my daughter in the coming year, year and a half, give or take. Um, she's going to be driving soon and she likes the minis. And uh, we might be getting her a mini and doing a custom paint job on it and making it look cool. So um, that's, you know, that's another uh, upcoming project. You know, daddy daughter build type of thing we might do here. So uh, other than that, guys, I want to say thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and post a link here again for Ecom Domination if you want to check that out. Um, no push. Um, here is the link to Zula.com if you guys are looking for great spray guns. Yeah, clearing over decals, you could do that. You know, like a lot of it, a lot of that is done on um, uh, motorcycles and whatnot. But you could do it on cars if you want also. Actually, I, I didn't clear over decals on the miata project i painted gold base coat because i wanted the d the actual mazda miata or the mazda um word i wanted it gold because i did the miata in a two-tone gold so i did gold base coat wherever i wanted to put my decals i put the decals on it did my green base coat once that dried, I peeled off all of the uh, the decals to expose my gold base coat underneath, and then I cleared it. So it wasn't like I cleared the decals. I used the decals as a stencil, right, for my base coats, and then I cleared over, uh, over that. So that's how you can also get a custom color um, 
um, instead of a decal. You know what I mean? You, you basically have a, uh, whatever the decal is, it doesn't matter if you buy a red decal, blue decal, whatever type of graphic kit that you get, because you could just paint whatever color you want where the decals are going to go, cover it, paint base coat on top of it, take it off, and then you got whatever color you want, you know, in automotive colors. <clears throat> Uh, my 16 year old son and I are cut and buffing a custom 85 Monte Carlo. He's picking up the technique. Very good. That's awesome. 85 Monte Carlo. Nice cars. I like those. My friend had a nice 87 that I really liked. So. Uh, Um, ever heard of Segola guns for auto paint? I've heard of them. I've never used them. I'm just, you know, so happy with the Adam spray guns. I don't really, haven't really used anything else lately. It's pretty much my go-to gun. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. Um, let me drop the link again to learn auto body and paint.com for all you newbies. And um, I'll see you this time next week. Here's actually, here's the link to the Learn Auto Body VIP, guys, if you want to check out VIP. Um, but here is the link to just put your email here and you can get that free auto body guide. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week. Hit the like button. Cheers.